Hi friends and welcome to Teacher Therapy. I want to start off this video by thanking all of the new subscribers and all of the people that have been commenting and messaging me and just telling me about your experiences in teaching. It's really awesome to be able to talk to you guys and empathize with you and just let you have a place where you can share your feelings freely. On that note, I actually want to ask you guys a few questions. I really need your help, okay? So if for whatever reason you just kind of were scanning through my videos, you may have noticed that some of them have possibly um, disappeared forever. <laughs> right now they're just um, unlisted, but let me tell you why and that'll kind of get into the help that I need from you guys. So somebody commented on like three or four of my videos and they kept asking me over and over again, why are your videos so negative? How are you even allowed to be a teacher with these videos up on YouTube that make teaching look so bad, etc., cetera, et cetera. And that really gave me a pause and kind of made me reevaluate things and, and kind of think about some things. And to be perfectly honest with you, I've never even imagined that like a hundred people would see one video, let alone one video having thousands of views. So, you know, maybe I've been a little bit too um, uncensored in <laughs> sharing some of my opinions. And it made me think, uh, how would I feel if maybe one of my students or one of their parents, or maybe even somebody from my school, like a co-teacher, an administrator came across these videos, what would they think about some of the things that I've said? And, and that's kind of tough for me because one of my core values is honesty. And one of the things that even gave me the idea for this channel is I really felt like a lot of the voices in education seemed almost to be overly idealistic. Um, I kind of felt like a lot of what I was coming across as advice or help for teachers, I couldn't really take it seriously because I felt like they didn't even begin to acknowledge some of the real struggles and challenges that teachers really faced. And I kind of understand why it's kind of the same dilemma I'm having right now. If you're currently in education, like you're at the job, how do you share with people how hard it is without making yourself look negative, without making your school or your community look bad, without making you look like a, a negative, cynical, critical person? Like those are real life dilemmas. How do you talk about difficult things without making something look totally terrible? And so I, I may have made the mistake of going too far to the other side of the pendulum. So basically a lot of the teacher tubers and things that I've seen, I feel like all they talk about is the positive things and almost never talk about any negativity or struggles. However, I may have overcorrected in a way and made a mistake by only talking about the things that are hard about teaching and only talking about some of the negative realities of teaching. And I realized for a lot of people that's not helpful either because if they're looking for motivation or encouragement, yes, it's helpful to hear that other teachers struggle, but on the other hand, they might want to hear, okay, so what do I do now? If I don't want to quit, how? How do I overcome these obstacles? How do I deal with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis? And I will admit, I haven't really provided much in the way of feedback or advice or stories or anything about how I've worked to overcome these hurdles. And part of the reason is that on some of these things, I, I don't honestly feel like I have found solutions. And so just really being able to speak the truth about them and kind of empathize with other teachers about them felt helpful in and of itself. But I realized that that's not enough. I don't want to just be another voice of uh, negativity and criticism for, you know, some of the, the issues in education without providing any kind of hope or redemptive value or advice or anything about, you know, how to navigate some of these issues, because it's obvious, you know, there's teachers that have been able, in spite of all of the challenges, to overcome them. They've been able to work within even sometimes a broken and flawed system. Um, they've been able to still feel like they're they're adding good and they're adding value to kind of some some really serious challenges. So anyway, all that to say, I need your help. I wouldn't mind remaking some um, more balanced videos of some topics that I've talked about in the past. Um, I want to know as subscribers and new friends and 
even random viewers, what would you guys like to see in terms of a teaching channel? One that's realistic, but not overly negative. One that you feel like you could recommend to other people without them um, saying, wow, I feel sadder after watching this video. I just kind of want to know what you guys are interested in. I have a lot of different ideas of um, things that I wouldn't mind talking about. I have thought about maybe uh, doing like helpful videos for first year teachers, new teachers or struggling teachers. Um, I've thought about maybe doing some kind of fun videos, like maybe a day in the life of, or maybe even just like motivational things like, you know, routine and time management and just lifestyle things. I thought about making more faith-based videos, um, how my Christian faith impacts um, my teaching and, and my career goals and my job. I thought about all kinds of different things. Up until this point, I've pretty much only done videos pretty much about like what I feel like is wrong with education. But I don't want to leave it that way. I truly want to be helpful and I am going to be teaching again next year. It'll be my eighth year in education. And so I definitely want to be able to create something that is helpful, but I also want to make something that, you know, if anybody that, that knows me in my classroom or whatever, I want them to be able to leave the video experience feeling like, like I enjoy my job, <laughs> like I enjoy the people that I work with. And I can understand how watching some of the old ones, you know, might leave people thinking like, oh my gosh, like why is she still teaching if she feels that way about teaching? So it's tough, I wanna be honest, but I don't wanna be overly negative. I wanna speak the truth about things, but I don't wanna do so in a way that's hurtful to like my current students and their families and the current, you know, school system that I work within. I, I wanna be wise, I wanna be truthful, yet I wanna be kind and I wanna be loving as well. And it's no um, easy feat, which I think it's why it's so hard to find current teachers that are telling the truth, yet still being positive and constructive. So I hope all of that made sense. And I would just love your feedback. I would love um, some video suggestions. I would love your take on some of the things that you've seen me do so far. Do you feel like it's too negative? Where do you think there could be more positivity or what kind of things do you think could help the channel have a more positive feel overall or i'd be interested to know if you think it's just fine and you'd like to see more of what i've done in the past and yeah that's pretty much it and so i'm going to be thinking really hard about the direction of the channel over the weeks to come and now that it's summertime i have a lot more time to make videos so i would love to know what you guys are interested in seeing and thank you for sticking with me through all of this and thank you again for all of the new subscribers and all of you that have commented and shared your stories you guys are my heroes and you're amazing so i want you guys to have a great day and write to me all right love you guys bye for now